What will it be today? Screaming Skulls of Europe and Asia by Adam Sandhurst, followed by Screaming Skulls of the New World by Olson Archer. Both books are historical records of skulls that do not want to be removed from the walls and halls where they felt at home in life. From trash bins and burial pits, these skulls will shriek, knock over kitchen chairs by long distance, and spread decay over crops. When the skulls are brought back inside and placed in a cabinet, they keep quiet and the crops flourish. English screaming skulls usually reside in manors and castles. Olson Archer posits that because America is a relatively new country, it took longer for screaming skull stories to surface. But surface they did.